Iron Man. He has a Unibeam, he has a Repulsive Blast, and he has a Smart Bomb. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, he's currently ranked as the second highest A tier character behind Cyclops. But what is it that makes Iron Man so fun, but yet dangerous? To find out, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play 1, and this is Iron Man Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Iron Man moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, let's take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Unibeam. The Unibeam is Iron Man's standard projectile. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. The light punch version hits about three times at long range, and it does around five hits up close. While the first punch variation scores six hits at full screen distance, and it does nine hits up close. Both versions of the attack are highly effective for chip damage and zoning the enemy. Remember, the first punch version of the move has more recovery time, even though it does more damage. Also, the Unibeam can be done in midair. Up next is the Iron Man anti-air attack called the Repulsive Blast. This is the move where Iron Man places his hands together to emit a blast from over his head. To do the attack, do a half circle back plus any punch button. Repulsive Blast! Repulsive Blast! Yeah. Repulsive Blast! This move is considered to be one of the most devastating anti-air attacks in the game and it's also one of the best assists available. The Repulsive Blast has range and it is capable of hitting multiple times. Unfortunately, the Repulsive Blast can only be done while on the ground. Next on the list is the Smart Bomb. This is the move where Iron Man shoots bombs from his shoulders. To do the move, press Light Kick plus Furious Punch together. Smart Bomb! Smart Bomb! Smart Bomb! When doing the move, pressing forward will make the Smart Bomb shoot further. Smart Bomb! And pressing back will decrease its range. When the Smart Bomb fires, it shoots in an arc motion and never in a straight path. This attack is a great variety move and it should be used in tandem with the Unibeam for zoning tactics. Also, this attack can be used in mid-air from jumping or flying. This next move is not an attack, but more so an ability. Like Dr. Doom and Magneto, Iron Man can fly as well. To go into flight mode with Iron Man, do a quarter circle back plus both kick buttons. Please keep in mind that flight mode is limited and Iron Man only has a few moments before he returns to the ground. While flying, you have access to most of your normals as well as the Unibeams and Smart Bomb. Smart Bomb! Also, Iron Man can dash in any of the eight directions 
and can continue to do so for the duration of the flight. Iron Man has three normal throws. Press forward and furious punch for a repulsive blast to the body. Press forward and furious kick for a flying repulsive blast to the body. Press forward and furious punch in mid-air for a repulsive blast to the ground. Iron Man has one launcher in the game and it's done by pressing fierce kick. So just press a standing fierce kick. And pop him up in the air. Iron Man has a few command normals in the game. Press down a fierce punch for a shoulder cannon. Pressing up or down plus fierce punch will allow you to do the angled version of this aerial fierce punch. Pressing up plus fierce kick will let you do the inverted version of his aerial fierce kick. To do the knee dive, press down a fierce kick while in midair. To do the aerial dash, press any direction plus both punches. Iron Man can dash in any of the eight directions. And remember, he can also do this while flying. So you go into flight mode and you can just dash away to your heart's content. You can do Iron Man song by pressing the select button. But if you're playing the Dreamcast version, or make sure to hold light kick and then press start to initiate the taunt. So the proton cannon is the only hyper Iron Man has, but it's highly effective. Iron Man will pull out an enormous gun and fire a huge blast at the opponent. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. And it looks like this. The proton cannon works well from a distance, but I learned that the closer you are, the more hits it will generate. If you can land a combo with the enemy in the corner, then finish it off with the proton cannon as the cannon itself will hit the opponent. So, this move does excellent chipping damage, but not on enemies such as Iceman, so be careful. So let's learn how to do the infinite combo with Iron Man. First, jump in with up and fierce kick. Then jump in with light punch, light punch, light kick, then up forward in Furious Punch, and repeat. I learned that you have to press the buttons at medium speed. If you press the buttons too slowly, you will drop the combo. If you press them too fast, you won't be able to maintain the opponent at the right height thus dropping the combo. Learning the combo or the infinite strain is not hard. What's hard is maintaining the enemy at the right height while pressing the buttons at the right tempo. Here's what to expect when you use Iron Man as an assist character. Iron Man's alpha assist will attack the enemy with a light punch unibeam his beta assist would use a fierce punch repulsor blast. And his gamma assist will perform a fierce kick launcher. Overall, Iron Man is a bit on the slow side when it comes to movement, 
but he has flight and eight way aerial dashing to compensate for this. He cannot rush down all that well, even though he does have access to combos. Mostly, he should zone his opponents with unibeams and smart bombs. With that being said, here are some tips to help out with Iron Man. The Photon Cannon is an excellent hyper from a distance, but try to use it in combos, especially when opponents are in a corner. When flying or jumping, use the knee dive for mix-ups, but don't overuse it or the enemy will start to anticipate it. The Repulsor Blast can cause massive damage and can juggle enemies for multiple hits. Use it for its range and for anti-air tactics. Doing Iron Man's Infinite during a match can be quite nerve-wracking and most likely you only have one chance to pull it off. Remember, it's all about rhythm and tempo when doing the Infinite Combo Strain. Whenever using Iron Man as an assist, make sure to use the Beta one, which is the Furious Punch Repulsor Blast. Well, that's it for this week installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.